Uh, my name is Luis Don Pablo. I am the owner of Caracas Empanadas Food Car and Caracas Arepas Food Car. And uh, we've been selling Venezuelan food in the city of Madison since 2010. Luis takes great pride in the success of the food cart, and he credits this success to the daily preparation that is required to keep the product fresh and delicious. You know, we, we don't buy anything made. Everything is made here in the kitchen. So from cutting vegetables to cooking the meats, um, and, you know, prior to cooking the meats, you still have to do work to them. You know, you have to clean up. Well, I clean up all the fat like from uh, from flank steak and and then after all the meats are done with all the vegetables mix in it uh, then comes the part where you have to assemble the empanadas which we do daily the day of um, selling so early in the morning we just go in the kitchen and we start making empanadas so I do all the cooking and, and all the prepping, you know, cutting vegetables and all that. Luis, that's all. Luis is my, my employee, one of my employees. He does all the assembling of the empanadas. He's the same guy that you see in the cart, mm -hmm. as, you know, frying them and giving them to you. Everything is good though, because we wanted to taste some other things and we kept going back because it was so good. Like most small businesses across the country, Luis and Caracas Empanadas have been greatly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and its shutdowns. COVID has been very rough um, and thus lightly put in it. Yeah. Um, at a point I just, that was last year, I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it. Because I, I can always close it and reopen it it because I have support from from my family, but I was really worried about Carlos and Luis, my my and, and Armando, um, my employees, because I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to keep him in payroll. But then you know, as you know, uh, the government brought out the PPP loans. We got like three or four small grants and all through the year, I kept surviving of the little bit of help that I was getting from, you know, from organizations uh, like Dane County by local. Um, In recent weeks, Caracas Empanadas food truck has been selling by the Madison Capitol, but Luis feels like somewhere else in the city is his home. Well, that decision was, um, I did not want to leave the, the library mall. Uh, we started our business there and I am planning on finishing the day that I retire truthfully. I, I have to come out selling at the library mall. It gave me all the opportunities that, that I ran into uh, selling to you guys. And it nothing really truthfully on my part changes the feeling of uh, being surrounded by young people. Mm -hmm. uh, the amount, you know, the energy that you guys give um, is just kind of infectious, you know, so it's like I feed off it. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's just, it makes you feel good. Luis's ventures with the Venezuelan cuisine won't end with the food cart. 2022 will be a year of expansion for his business. We um, actually have a spot in the public market, in the Madison public market, that is going to be located on 1st and, and that is East Johnson Street.